Hey everyone, Paula Aponte here with EXP Realty in Lakeland, Florida and Team BC. And I am here to talk to you a little bit about new construction. New construction is so exciting, but people always wonder like, okay, what's the process? How do I get started? So new construction, that is such a fun, fun process. I've gone through it personally with my own home. I have helped uh, other folks um, as a real estate agent. So I definitely have been on both sides of the coin in terms of new construction. And it's a great way to um, start your family in a new home that only you have lived in, that you get to pick out sometimes all the colors, and I'm gonna get to that in a second. But let me give you a little bit of insight on new construction, especially as it pertains to my area here in Polk County, Florida. So, Going back a little bit, when I bought my home and I went um, and I said, like I said, did new construction, I got to <clears throat> go pick out my lot. I got to go and meet at the design studio, pick out all my colors. I got to do everything and it was so much fun. Um, I had lots of options. Well, I wanna tell you that I found out like fast forwarding years and years and years later that things have changed in the world and new construction, new, some builders in the area aren't letting you do that in terms of like a um, design studio. So you definitely want to um, make sure that you know what kind of builder that you're working with. Do they allow you to do certain parts that in your mind you kind of envision being able to do? But so the first thing is to pick out a builder, okay? And how do you do that? You do that by scheduling appointments with your realtor and you go to visit different builders. Do you need a realtor? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Um, because realtors are gonna point out certain things to you that the sales agent at the builder is not going to. See, for me, whether you use Lennar Home, Highland Homes, Adams Homes, KB Homes, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm still getting my commission and it's not coming out of your pocket as the buyer. It's coming out of the pocket of the builder. So I am here to make sure that I am answering or asking questions on your behalf, making sure that I am understanding everything on your behalf as you're hearing it and making sure that you're not mis, um, understanding anything. And the sales agent of course is there to sell you only on their new construction. They're not there to say, well, you know what, maybe you should go check out Lennar Homes three miles up the road because they have similar homes that we do for the same price. Nope, that's not their job. That's my job as the realtor. So should you take your realtor with you? 100%, okay? As far as um, the new builders go, like I said, you wanna meet with several new builders. And one of the questions that you wanna ask or a couple of questions you wanna ask is, do you have a design studio that I can go to? And can I pick out my own lot? If those are things that are important to you, then you should be asking those questions. Now, if you prefer a spec home, because I have heard this from buyers, some buyers have said, oh gosh, I could never go to a design studio because I would not know what to pick out. It would be the most stressful process. I am not a very creative person. I can't put colors together. I want somebody else to do that for me. If you're that person, then that's great. There are builders out there right now that are doing that for you. They are putting all of the colors together. They're picking out the lot. They're putting what home they think would be a great fit for this particular lot and they will tell you which homes you, you can choose from and they will tell you which homes are gonna be on what lots and they'll tell you what colors are gonna be in those homes and they have everything all laid out for you so you don't have to think and you don't have to do any of that. But if you want to be able to still have a new home versus a resale, then you can still do that without the stress of going to the design studio. Um, if you haven't figured it out already, I'm kind of the person that would love to go to the design studio. So that's why I talked about, be careful, there are some that are not gonna do that because I love going to design studios, okay? Um, all right, so next thing you wanna find out is, at the new construction site, are there um, lenders that are um, preferred lenders that will be willing to pay for closing costs? When you go out and you're looking at resale homes, not all lenders, um, excuse me, let me rephrase that, no lenders are gonna pay for closing costs, okay? So you have to, as the buyer, you have to pay for your own closing costs. But 
when you go to get new construction, you usually will be able to use their preferred lender and get your closing costs paid for. So that is a huge, huge perk. Um, so you definitely want to find that out, who their lenders are, and then you want to go ahead and once you've picked out who your builder is, you want to get pre-approved through one of their pre preferred lenders, okay? Um, then after you get pre-approved, pre you will then sign a contract, okay? Now, when you sign a contract with a lender, you're going to, um, at that point, probably give some sort of deposit, and that deposit will vary depending on what builder you're working with. So some builders will say it's $1,000, some it may be 2,500. I've heard up to 5,000. I will say the majority of the builders that I've been talking to are at about $1,000 to 2,500. Okay, that kind of seems to be the going rate. Now, when do you give the rest of the money? So for the most of you, you're probably looking at a loan where you have to do, if it's an FHA, you have a 3.5% down payment. That's not your closing cost, that's just your down payment. Or if it's conventional, you might have 5% down payment. Or if you're looking to save PMI, you have 20% down payment. So when do you pay the rest of that money, right? Because $1,000 isn't gonna cut it. Well, the $1,000 definitely goes towards that down payment, but depending on which builder it is, they may require you to pay it within say 90 days and they're not gonna break ground until that's paid or they may tell you, oh, you can pay it the day that you go to closing. You can wire the funds. The day that you sign away and you get the keys is when we are going to go ahead and collect the rest of that money. So it really just depends on the builder. And again, working with an experienced agent who knows the different builders in the area is definitely important so that you kind of can have a heads up as to which builders maybe to go to based on that information because maybe it's important to you to hold your money in your account until your new build is, is finished. And that brings me to the next question. How long is it going to take for your new build to be ready? Well, it's going to depend on the area. Um, here in Polk County, we're looking at between six to nine months and I know that's quite a bit of a range. Um, I would say it's going to be probably more of the average is seven or eight months, okay, for a new build. Um, but it's it's gonna depend on whether and how quickly they get permits pulled. It's gonna be very builder specific and really just how fast the county's moving at the given time and how many people are, you know, needing permits for new construction. So that that's why there is that range on there. Um, what else do I wanna share with you? The home walkthrough process. So once your home is now built, you do get the option to do a, not a final walkthrough, but it's kind of like your pre-final walkthrough. So you do your walkthrough and that's when you look to make sure that everything in your new build is looking great. You do have the option and you are allowed to have an inspector come and pay for that on your own privately. If you choose to, a lot of people choose not to because they feel like, well, it's new construction. What could possibly be wrong? It's brand new, right? Well, you never know. There are, I do have an inspector that has shared stories about some crazy things that he has seen in new construction. This is an investment. So spending money, say 300 to $400 on an inspector to come in, that's an outside source for a purchase that's let's say three to 400,000, that might be worth it to you. So that's up to you, you don't have to, but you do get the option to do a walkthrough and check things out. I would be with you or your realtor would be with you and we would make sure that you know everything is looking good, that everything is functioning. They would have a checklist that they would go by that you kind of just check off the boxes. And if there's anything that you see that's of concern, They'll go ahead and kind of blue tape it around the house and they will fix it. One time I went to a new construction and the blinds weren't there that were in the purchase, in the contract that they actually upgraded and paid to have those blinds and they weren't there like a week before closing. So they had to make sure that those blinds got put in during that seven day process of getting all of those last minute things done. And then the day of closing, you do your final walkthrough. And that's when you go back to say, see, okay, did the blinds get put in? Yep, we can check that box. And you're looking around at all the other little blue tape items to see what got fixed and what didn't. Um, so that really is it. I was looking at my little list here. That brings you to closing day. Closing day is pretty simple. You get your keys, 
you go to um, a title company or a law office, a lot of uh, new build builders will use an attorney instead of a title company, but you go to either or, you sit, you'll have your funds wired, um, either it'll have been wired already depending on the builder or it will be wired that morning and you're good to go. You get to go and leave with your keys in your hand and enjoy making memories in your new home. So if you have any questions about buying a new construction home, definitely feel free to reach out to me. I have done this several times already. Um, I've closed many this year. I've already have um, some new ones on the calendar for next year. I've worked with various builders in the area here in Polk County, Florida. So I'm really familiar with the process and I'd love to help you out. So feel free to give me a call, 863-286-0822. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.